Okay, we've never seen pictures like this before from NASA. Amazing video of what looks like tornadoes on the sun. Signs of the heavens and the earth. And what we're seeing is that these events continue one after another. There's been a lot of buzz over the last few weeks about strange sounds being heard in the atmosphere. People around the world and here at home have reported hearing some bizarre noises. Some strange noises heard around the world the last few weeks from Arizona to England and right next door in Manitoba all showing folks alarmed by what sounds like a noise straight out of a science fiction flick. Watching a scary movie. The background noise gives you the feeling that something terrible is about to happen. Strange, mild sound. Coming, it seems like it's coming from the sky, anyway. I've heard that Jesus is coming back. I've heard that it's 2012, the world is ending. This phenomenon stretched beyond North Battleford. Similar experiences were reported in Saskatoon, northern Saskatchewan, and parts of the U.S., even in Europe. That we are in the birth tank. Something is going on. We are in unprecedented, uncharted waters. A terrible mystery gripping the world right now. Birds, fish, and all kinds of creatures just dropping dead. For the second year on New Year's Eve, birds are falling from the sky in Beebe. A mystery in Beebe, Arkansas. Birds falling dead from the sky on New Year's Eve for the second year in a row. Wildlife officials say... No one knows how these dolphins died, but hundreds have been found on beaches in Chiclayo, Peru. At least 260 dolphins washed ashore across a roughly 60-mile stretch of beach. Officials aren't sure what happened to them. An event like this is particularly unusual because dolphins aren't normally found in these seas. Everywhere you look, you see the carcass of a dead turtle. Small turtles, large turtles, dozens of them dead and scattered along the banks of Smith Lake. The birds just started falling from the sky. This is really weird. Hundreds of birds literally just dropped from the sky and then landed on I-95, bringing traffic there to a crawl. But earlier today, a lot of confusion and concern when birds which were flying in the sky started to crash to the pavement. There were hundreds of them. Never ever in my life have I seen anything like this. Crazy. Totally crazy. Never seen. I, I travel this all the time. But I, I haven't heard of anything locally like that ever. Birds, fish, and all kinds of creatures just dropping dead. Couldn't figure out what the heck happened. Never seen anything like it. Something strange has happened in the skies above Britain. Police throughout Scotland and the north of England received calls of a bright light streaking across the sky on Saturday night.
at these images over Harrogate, but there have been sightings across the country from Scotland, Wales, the north, right down to the East Midlands. It was what observers are calling one of the best meteors ever seen in the UK. The object was seen as far south as Devon and may have landed in the English Channel. Dozens of viewers have said they've seen a massive bright light in the sky in the last few hours, with most claiming it was a meteor. You'll be hearing a lot about this next item over the next 11 months, but astronomers have identified a new asteroid about 150 feet across, which is headed our way and may come so close to Earth that it will pass between us and the satellites orbiting in space above us. There's some debate in the scientific community about whether a direct hit is even possible. This is called 2012 DA-14. They say this will be the closest past of an asteroid in the history of tracking such things. And again, while this pass is supposed to miss us, the experts all say there's nothing wrong with making sure your affairs are in order. So should we be nervous about this all right, whole well, thing? This is a serious story because the latest round of solar flares captured in this incredible video. Take a look at this. It's from NASA overnight. The burst that you're seeing there, charged particles erupting off the surface of the sun. And we saw an even bigger solar flare Tuesday night. Right now, all of those particles are racing toward the Earth, as you said, about 4 million miles per hour. And it's growing as it gets closer to us. On top of that, the problems will arise when the flares reach the Earth's magnetic field, apparently. That's when we could see mass power. It's like a cloud of birds, but a giant cloud. It's really creepy. It's kind of like, is the world coming to an end here or something? I mean, it's really, it's scary. Oh, the whole sky will fill up with black birds. But it's crazy. It's, it's, scary. it's scary, ain't it? How many do you think? Oh, one key, million. It's like we're being held hostage. Held hostage in maybe a three mile radius by black birds. When it comes out, it sounds like rain coming down. I mean, literally, you, from inside of our apartment, you think that it's raining outside. What a sight this is. Thousands of dolphins swarm a whale watching boat off the coast of Orange County. You're looking at hundreds upon hundreds of dolphins breaching out of the water. The unusual spectacle was caught on tape. trying to figure out what caused that flash in the sky in the Northwest Valley. It happened this morning right here. If you haven't seen it, here we go. During Andrea's traffic report, look, we're going to slow it down for, for you right there. Look in the background. Looks like some kind of very bright light, almost like it was an explosion or something. Our first thought was maybe a transformer. But we checked with APS and SRP. They said they haven't had any trouble. We haven't had any reports of any explosions either. Here it is one more time for you in slow-mo. So it is still a mystery. Here it comes. Okay.
killer storms. And those storms are not over just yet. Cities torn apart after taking a direct hit from rare winter tornadoes. They're now bracing for more of the same. Among the places hardest hit, Harrisburg, Illinois. 175 mile an hour winds, two football fields wide, less people dead. Homes were shredded, a strip mall flattened, entire buildings knocked off their foundations. It's just unreal, it's like a war zone. Somber Saturday morning as hundreds of thousands wake up to sheer devastation. This entire town's all gone, flattened in a flash. This massive storm spawned more tornadoes in one day than we usually see in an entire month. Here's what we know right now, at least 29 people dead. This is the second round of killer tornadoes just this week. Uh, 95 tornadoes ripped through yesterday. If those are all confirmed reports, this would be the greatest tornado day, one day event in March for all history. A series of powerful earthquakes sending shockwaves through Japan. That is the same area that was struck last year. There was a small tsunami in that area, and about three hours after that, another major earthquake. But we will see continent shattering earthquakes. We're seeing now too many anomalies, especially on the New Madrid. The rest of the world is coming apart at the scene. Clintonville, Wisconsin residents say their homes rattled after explosion-like noises woke them up last night. And city leaders are still trying to figure out just what caused it all. Police phone lines were jammed with calls from a 13-block area. Callers reported not just hearing loud booms, but rumbling in the ground that shook them right out of their homes. It sounded like somebody was dropping bombs. What we know from geologists down at UW-Madison is that this is clearly not consistent with earthquake activity. People in this community won't stop coming up to us tonight, telling us that they're still hearing this loud boom tonight, and then they feel the ground shake just a little bit. Now, this boom isn't coming up from the sky, but rather it's coming from down below. Mexico City. It comes after a magnitude 7.6 earthquake struck 120 miles east of Acapulco. There seems to be a systematic effort 
yeah. to downplay the earthquakes and especially their intensity. And we're now in the uh, realm of lame excuses for everything. You know, it's it's amazing that people just seemingly take the word of the most pathetic uh, investigative journalism that's ever been seen in the history of the world in the United States. rumblings in Clintonville early this morning. And what's causing that? Thing? Some Clintonville residents, though, they're speculating, of course. The church's marquee reads, God is shaking our city. Let's have a revival. And tonight, there are reports of more booming sounds 80 miles away. Police in Montello are now investigating similar sounds. But so far, I don't have an explanation. We have a lot of good, reliable sources that reported this pretty much community-wide. And, you know, at this point in time, it is quite the talk of the town. There's no doubt about it. There was a loud boom, and all the windows shook. The whole house shook. It felt like my front door was being, tr like, trying to be kicked in. It was, my apartment was shaking. For the third night in a row, unexplained ground shaking has leaders in Clintonville scratching their heads. In our big story, city officials remain at a loss over what this could be. Several theories have been ruled out, including water, other utilities, even an earthquake. The city isn't ordering any evacuations, but some say they are considering leaving town. The booms began early Monday morning, continued Tuesday morning, and came back once again early this morning. The people there are on edge. Police say they've received more than 500 calls about vibrations. But the ground is shaking in an unusual way. And what we're seeing is that these events continue one after another. The ground is shaking in an unusual way.